Welcome back to another media review. Today we're looking at something that's pretty rare. Uh, this is a, an advertising flyer for an FM radio station in the 1980s. This is uh, for call sign WUWU, also known as Woo Woo, 107.7 FM on your FM dial and uh, this is pretty early on on when Wu was operating which I believe was between 1982 and 86 and uh, basically it had uh, exchanged hands from a different radio station ownership and uh, they changed the call sign to Woo Woo and then changed their programming format and went on to operate and then after they ceased to operate as Woo Woo a different uh, uh, owner uh, took over and uh, ran the station with different call signs but we're going to focus on Woo Woo itself so we can see here uh, FM stereo and just taking a step back this is being related to radio for those old enough to remember what radio is I don't have to explain but for those who actually don't know about radio radio is basically broadcasting through um, amplified waves broadcast waves on a range of frequencies so this would be called bandwidth literally in um, uh, air broadcasting so you have an antenna a transmitting unit and a pretty significant source of power in order to generate the I guess uh, power levels and uh, amplitude gain I'm probably mixing up terms here in order to have a signal that can have a significant broadcast range to reach a target audience um, and before FM there was AM AM stands for I believe amplified modulation whereas FM is frequency modulation and this refers to how the transmitter would manipulate the frequency uh, in, in, in FM's case of the signal in very subtle ways uh, in order to create a listenable signal whether it be voice music noise whatever but that's being broadcast amplified modulation on their hand uh, uh, goes with the uh, well, obviously the amplification uh, and modulating uh, subtly that uh, range um, similar but different so uh, the benefits of FM is it operates in a much higher frequency range than AM so uh, AM I believe operates in the kilohertz ranges versus FM operates in the megahertz ranges and uh, with FM I guess you get less noise uh, a stronger uh, clear signal so it's like a hi-fi or high fidelity uh, both AM and FM do support stereo but FM has better capabilities support stereo and today um, today's transmitters uh, transmit what is called an HD audio uh, signal so they're cramming quite a bit of information within an, uh, the FM signal that can then be picked up by an HD receiver and then translate you know the waves into listenable sounds so that little bit of tidbit we can see here back to the flyer let's just start at the bottom woo woo the rock of western new york so this station uh their broadcasting uh, location was in 
Weathersfield, New York, and I believe that's southeast of Buffalo, New York, if that uh, helps you center this geographically. But this is basically in the middle of nowhere, a very small town and not much around uh, there except for basically uh, farm farmland and then uh, you know forests here and there and uh, different types of terrain lake terrain rivers etc so no not a lot of big cities uh, in the Weathersfield area Buffalo uh, to the northwest of Weathersfield and Rochester directly to the north I guess would be your closest big cities so Woo Woo had to struggle to reach its target audience so they were always just, you know trying to change their radio format programming format to try to maximize uh, you know the, the, the time that they were broadcasting I'm not sure uh, let's see let's go down this way so you got the magnificent seven double solid hours of rock weekdays at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. 60 solid minutes of uninterrupted rock which is pretty significant because if you listen to radio today unless it's actually on a paid uh, service if you're just listening to free radio you're gonna get inundated with ads pretty frequently uh, either every other song or sometimes between every song you'll get at least some sort of uh, station break and maybe a really quick uh, uh, short ad continuing rock jams daily five song mini concerts of all rock bands superstars new and vintage quality local music a new program featuring original music from local WNY, Western New York, bands. Top 30 album survey. So albums referring to vinyl LPs, long playing albums. Dale Anderson, Buffalo Evening, Evening News. That was a local newspaper at the time. Rock Critic counts down the top 30 albums in Western New York, the official Woo Woo survey, Saturday mornings from 9.07 to 12.07. Monday Metal Madness. Enjoy 107 minutes of heavy metal, old, new, and different, every Monday night at 10.07. So you see they're obviously playing on their... 1077 and uh, if you notice on your radio dial depending if you have an analog tuner or a digital tuner uh, 1077 is pretty high up there on the uh, on the uh, tunable dial there you can go beyond that but there's not a lot of other uh, in the uh, I guess uh, licensed uh, bandwidth um, but if you there are there you can broadcast uh, you are able to broadcast uh, be above and below the licensed bandwidth but it's basically unlicensed radio and you could get in trouble so that's called pirate radio at that point uh, continuing black hole progressive rock music from the seventh dimension nightly from 12 midnight to 5 a.m. So, so they broke away from the 07 minute uh, trend there town crier your telephone talk program mornings at 907 woo woo is the only station in west new york that invites you to talk on any subject Ooh. i don't know how that well that would go over today but uh, that's pretty bold even for back then so Let's take a look at this kind of showcase area here. Quality Rock 1077 FM Stereo. And here we got a little mascot. Hi there, I'm Big Al. Interesting. Program director at Woo Woo, a new stereo FM station. We play more tracks by your favorite artist from Led Zeppelin to AC DC. Hmm, interesting printing 
I think that is grammatically correct. It does sound a little awkward, the way they worded that, though. By your favorite artist. Hmm. Pink Floyd to Genesis, Foreigner, Who, Loverboy, and hundreds of groups that other stations won't play, like Saga, King Crimson, XTC, Frank Zappa, Motorhead, and Clash. And that was key because a lot of the mainstream FM stations wouldn't touch any of these last groups here. They might play a little bit of Saga because Saga was just uh, uh, crossing back and forth between U.S. and Canadian radio and Buffalo being very close to Canadian border. You know, Saga would uh, play shows and uh, you, know, you can always you know, hop the border and go see shows up there too as well. Loverboy, same thing, Canadian band. Who? Well, who was international, foreigner, international, Genesis, also international, but more progressive rock. So they didn't really get a lot of airplay on FM until they went more towards uh, the later, latter part of the 80s with more popular, uh, catchy uh, kind of songs. Pink Floyd, well, they... They always had an audience ever since the 70s, ACDC, and they became, and uh, they only had a couple songs at the time that would get airplay, so it was pretty rare that uh, any station would play uh, stuff beyond like the approved singles from, from them. Um, but definitely other bands like uh, Frank Zappa, you know, one of America's greatest composers. He only had a couple popular radio airplay songs, but a lot of his uh, stuff was too spicy for radio, even though, you know, on a technical level, the music was uh, totally fine. Motorhead too heavy for radio at the time and it wasn't until Motorhead started doing collaborations with other artists that they uh, got more airplay but even though they had uh, well-known songs like Iron Fist and Ace of Spades uh, they weren't getting airplay at the time so Clash you know kind of a kind of a crossover from you know, the edge of punk to hard rock and uh, had a couple singles, but again, wasn't getting a lot of airplay beyond the approved songs. So, continuing, Woo Woo also plays comedy like Cheech and Chong, Fire Sign, uh, meaning Fire Sign Theater, Monty Python, George Carlin, uh, Robin Williams, etc. Every day. So this is kind of a, a different to how uh, Woo Woo was kind of breaking the rules. Uh, not only uh, different artists being played, but the way they were setting up their radio format, including comedy every day. So they were interspersing uh, comedy uh, bits uh, from albums, you know, in between regular songs being airplayed. Most stations would not do that. They might put one comedy song uh, or a, uh, a comedy bit, a comedy short, maybe, between songs, maybe once every shift, but uh, or uh, maybe during kind of what's called the dead hours uh, from like Saturday midnight on or, t or, or very early Sunday mornings. Uh, when not a lot of people might be listening to uh, hard rock. So, uh, continuing again, uh, you'll find me, I'm assuming our mascot here, at 107-7. That's the top of your FM dial. So, see a lot going on here, just on this one side flyer printed in this bright orange ink that's held up quite well over time and uh, a few thumbtack marks where this has been uh,
pinned up on various walls over the years, bulletin boards, and uh, it's in pretty good shape. So, an advertising flyer for 107.7 FM stereo, woo woo, the rock of western New York. This has been another media review. Feel free to check out other book review media reviews on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage, milsurp tools, and expanded topics. And we also do a series called Curious or the Curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.